distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Ming Lava, and good afternoon to you all. It is my privilege and honor to deliver the opening remarks at this important first seminar on Myanmar business environment under the project Enhancing Hong Kong Construction Industries Knowledge of the Business Environment in Cambodia, Indonesia, and Myanmar. First and foremost, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to Chairman Dr. Raymond Ho Chong Tai and his team from the Deshan Foundation for organizing today's seminar, as well as for a series of seminars focusing on three ASEAN countries, including Myanmar. Moreover, I wish to extend my gratitude to the responsible officials of the Trade and Industry Department of the Government of Hong Kong Special Administrative Region for providing funding for the project, making this event a reality. This month in the Myanmar calendar is special since we have just celebrated and welcomed the Myanmar New Year on 17 April with great expectations and hope. Allow me to take this opportunity to wish all of those present here at this event a happy, healthy, prosperous, and successful Myanmar New Year. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, at today's seminar, there will be Myanmar speakers from DICA, Director of Investment and Company Administration of the Ministry of Investment and Foreign Economic Relations, Department of Urban and Housing Development of the Ministry of Construction, as well as from Myanmar Construction Entrepreneur Federation. They will talk about the investment environment in Myanmar, condominium, investment in Yangon, and the infrastructure projects in Myanmar. I believe all these topics are very important to enhance Hong Kong construction's industry knowledge and will be of interest to those present today. Furthermore, it is also my pleasure to convey that, as the moderator has just mentioned, the second seminar on Myanmar business environment is scheduled to be held on 20th May 2022. I hope these seminars will provide business opportunities that can be collaborated with useful information, especially in the construction sector. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, COVID-19 pandemic has brought many unprecedented challenges all over the world, including Myanmar and Hong Kong. The impact of COVID-19 on countries and regions can vary significantly over time and across populations. For more than two years, the pandemic has affected economies of countries and regions, draining vital economic performance and undermining social economic developments. The pandemic has caused significant disruption to the economy, as well as caused negative impacts on many sectors, including the construction sector. As a result, in addition to controlling the spread of the virus due to the economic fallout caused by the pandemic, putting concerted efforts to economic recovery have become a priority. In this connection, I am delighted that Hong Kong is easing social distancing rules beginning from 21st April 2022 due to the improvement of the situation in three phases over the period of three months. Similarly, Myanmar has also eased social distancing restrictions and lifted the temporary measures beginning from 17 April 2022, the Myanmar New Year Day, by permitting the resumptions of international commercial passenger flight operations to and from Myanmar and reducing the quarantine period to approximately 24 hours for travelers who have been fully vaccinated 
at least 14 days before arriving to our country. The quarantine period is approximate time required to receive the result of COVID-19 RT-PCR test taken on arrival at the airport. I am confident that this easing of restrictions will bring about positive results and position Myanmar and Hong Kong back on track, as well as contribute to reemergence to the rightful status. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Myanmar, a country with a population of about 55 million, is situated strategically between two populous countries, China and India, and has abandoned youthful workforce and natural resources. Due to geographical advantages, the China-Myanmar Economic Corridor has become an important part of the Belt and Road Initiative of the People's Republic of China. The construction has, sector has been developing in Myanmar and has huge potential for growth and expansion. Infrastructure sector is one of the priority sectors that Myanmar needs to develop further in a positive direction. Establishment of urban areas, industrial zones, and construction of infrastructure and housing projects are regarded as prioritized investment areas in our country. I have no doubt that these infrastructure projects will contribute to the development of the China-Myanmar Economic Corridor as well as to the Belt and Road Initiative. Myanmar has been actively encouraging responsible, sustainable, and mutually beneficial investment and continues to promote a more business-friendly environment to facilitate trade and investment. In this aspect, measures are taken to defend investors' interests by promulgating and amending foreign investment law, simplifying procedures, minimizing barriers to business, and creating a better investment environment. These initiatives, in turn, will also contribute to creating more job opportunities raise the standard of living of the Myanmar people and reduce the economic and development gaps in the country. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Myanmar-Hong Kong relations along with Myanmar-China relations have a long history since ancient times. As the official bilateral relations were established on 8 June 1950, it is approaching 72 years milestone. Myanmar considers the relation with China important and continues to nurture the relationship based on the traditionally friendly and close outpour fraternal relations. At this backdrop, I am pleased to note that the cooperation between Myanmar and Hong Kong continues to develop in a positive path. Hong Kong's status as a global financial hub, leading trade center, gateway to mainland China, the role the region will play in Belt and Road Initiative and Greater Bay Area are indeed encouraging. The region can be a significant partner for Myanmar and there are enormous potential for enhancing economic cooperation. Hong Kong can greatly contribute to the development of our country, Myanmar. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the construction sector is an important sector, not only in Myanmar, but also in Hong Kong. I would like to encourage utilizing the best of this opportunity by acquiring background information and understanding on the business and investment environment of Myanmar. In conclusion, I would also like to invite Hong Kong and Hong Kong-based businesses and companies to contact our Myanmar consulate as we stand ready to assist and facilitate to the best of our abilities. I believe that today's event will be a constructive and fruitful discussion. 
Thank you very much, and I wish the seminar every success. Thank you very much, Mr. Zhou Xin Lin, CG of um, Myanmar in Hong Kong SAR and Macau SAR. Thank you very much indeed.